Hey guys! Hey Royalty Squad, it's me. I know it's been a while since I did a video, um, but I'm back. Um, I missed you guys. Um, and before we start this video, I would like it and appreciate if you guys can share, like, subscribe down below. That would be awesome. I appreciate it so, so much. And just remember, every like, get the smile. I'm still working on it. I'm sorry. That was, <laughs> that wasn't the best, but okay. Um, so today I want to talk to you guys that, you know, I, I've been... I've been doing better than I was before, so I just want to give you a little update on my life. Um, I'm dating again. Yay! That's awesome. And he's he's a YouTuber, so he's great. Um, and I'll put his link in the bio in case, you know, you guys want to follow him. But, um, and, you know, if you're into NBA, um, I give a shout out to him. Um, yeah, so, that's something, and, um, but also, you know, I just wanted to talk to you guys about my life, you know, I'm gonna be 23, I'm gonna be 23 soon, yay, in like, I don't know, a few weeks, three weeks, and it's exciting, it's also pretty damn scary. Like, I'm getting old. <laughs> but you know what? I'm also kind of, like, I'm blessed to, like, that I've alive for this long. Because not a lot of people get to be alive this long, and I get that. So, you know, but I'm, I'm so happy, and I'm so grateful. And, you know, to know that along the way, you know, there's been people who, you know, that they haters the haters and then there's the people that care about you and that you never thought that they would actually be there for you and this that they support you but you know they do and that's amazing and so um i don't know if you guys can notice but the quality on my phone is way better and guess what because i bought myself an iphone Yay! And for all for those of you who know me, I never had an iPhone, so this is exciting for me. And um, I have AirPods too. And you're like Leslie, like there's nothing exciting. <laughs> like, there's nothing exciting. But for me, I think of it as exciting because I never had this stuff, and I bought it for myself for the first got myself for the first time. And you know, I realized that there's you know. You know, having a bank account with your own money in it is great. It's a blessing because, you know, a lot, of people, a lot of people aren't able to afford things that they would want to afford. And I have been one of those people for such a long time that I wasn't able to afford anything. But you know what? I did something for myself in a long, long time, which was to buy myself a treat. And especially since I'm going to be 23 and I feel like I deserve to buy myself something because I never do. And I didn't really buy myself anything, so I decided, why not? Okay, you only live once, right? And the fact is, is that, you know, it's okay. You can buy yourself something every once in a while as a treat for yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. As, but if, you know, you gotta be careful with your money. Spend it on what you have to spend it on. Um, so, yeah. Um... Oh yeah, and I have this ring, but no, I'm not engaged. Remember, like I said, I'm just dating. I'm not engaged. Um, and so I don't want people like being in the comments and be like, oh my god, she's engaged, like, yeah, like, no, I'm not engaged. Um, I know, I probably just said that like three times. Damn. <laughs> um, but no, uh, but life is good. Sorry if you hear for the noise outside. There, I don't know. There's a lot of like cars and stuff. I live in the, I live in the city. For those of you who don't know that, I live in the city, and of course, there's always gonna be a loud noise. So, yeah. But um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about 
you know, I don't know, life, even though I just talked about that, I feel like I get 5 to 10 minutes, <laughs> which feels like it's been 10 minutes, but it's really been like 5 minutes, but still, um, you know, we all been going through stuff during this pandemic, and I think that, you know, we should try to be more understanding of people, I feel like, everybody's been going through things, and everybody's different, everybody handles stress, um, and other things in their own way, I mean, yeah, so, it's fine, and I've also been dealing with, you know, getting over past relationships, too. I mean, I already, I already gotten over the person, but it's just the fact of the concept of being broken up with that person and that memories of that person come back. And put a, like, you know, give me a like if you ever experienced that, like, where you're, like, you know, you finally got rid of somebody, or not rid of somebody, because, you know, you didn't kill them, but, like, you get, like, you basically got them out of your head, and now it's just the fact of, like, your soul, body, and mind is, like, okay, it's, like, passing not passing, but, like, transfer, getting, like, getting rid of all that drama that you had with that previous person, and putting a clean slate, clean, you know, it's, it's, it's hard sometimes, because that's the, the trouble when you grow, like, when you are in an old relationship, but you go into a new one, like, dating is not easy, if you haven't been in it in a long time, it's not easy, but sometimes you will be oh so grateful, like I am, if you meet somebody who you connect with, and you just met them, like, one time, in person, or, you know, let's say if you've known somebody for 10 years, and then, you know, sometimes you don't feel like you have that deep of a connection, well, you have a connection, but it's not like a connection where you are like, yeah, let's date, like, let's go out, like, you know, we're gonna go eat outside, take a walk, you know, I want to hold your hand, I want to kiss you, it's not like that, sometimes it can't be like that, and not, you know, sometimes you know somebody for 10 years, and you're, and then after a while, you're like, well, damn, like, I really love this person, or sometimes you can meet somebody, and, you know, you never met them before, and you meet them for the first time, and you're like, wow. I know that this person and I are gonna be like this. We're gonna be great. Not great. Well, yeah, it, it can turn into it can turn into something great, and it's beautiful. I mean, you know, you have intimacy. You can communicate. It's everything that you ever could want. And sometimes, you know, you meet somebody who you believe has who or who always believed could be the best person for you but in reality they're not you know like in reality you stick by them and you're there for them but they're not completely there for you and it took you let's say five years or four years to finally be like oh wow like this person is not good for me. This person is so toxic. <laughs> I don't know why I was with, I was ever with that person. I need to get out. So sometimes it could be like that. And sorry, sorry guys. I had to like breathe. <laughs> but I mean. You know, there's always going to be people that hate on you. There's always going to be someone that you think that you like, but they're not going to like you back. It's okay. It's okay. And you know why it's okay? It's because there's always going to be another person out there who likes you, 
way better or way much more than the other person ever did. They're going to like you ten times more than the first person ever did. And you know what? You're going to be grateful that you pushed the other person to the curb and you met this other person. Your, your current person. And so... And honestly, like, that's how I feel these days. Like, I'm just like, okay, well, you know what? I haven't dated in, like, almost two years. Which is true. I haven't dated for, like, almost two years. But, well, more or less. But, yeah, let's just say two years. And, you know, like, I'm so happy that the person I'm with, or... Not even with. Because, yeah, I'm not even going to get into the details, but I just know that I am grateful for that person in my life. And I'm happy. And that you guys should be happy too. I mean, well, you can be happy for me, but I'm in there for yourself too. Because, <laughs> you know, we are the royalty squad. You know, put your invisible crown on and know that nobody can hurt you. Because anybody, anybody, anywhere is going to love you for who you are. And if you stick to who you are, then nobody can hurt you. I mean, yeah, people can hurt you, but not as bad as you may think. Because it's going to be like, you know, I mean, just don't doubt how good you are. Don't doubt that you are a good person, inside and out. And it may seem so cliche to say that, but it's true. It's true. Because reality is, is that being yourself is way better than being a liar or being a fake. Trust me. It is. And sometimes we are insecure about who we are. That is true. You're not really lying if you say, like, oh, yeah, I'm insecure about who I am. You're not lying. But it's hard to meet somebody I guess in that, in that state of mind I don't know honestly I don't even know but I but I feel like I mean it can be a little hard but it shouldn't be hard it shouldn't huh. it is and unfortunately life can be stressful sometimes but we all gotta stick together again pick up your crown put it on and say this i am royal i am kind i am beautiful inside and out and i will always shine okay love you guys and remember um like Share, subscribe, I appreciate it all so much, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye!